why why do we have to take a tone of please etc etc ramnik man because if india were to engage directly with ira engage with uh, with those who are secessionist and want to break away from the britain there are so many elements so many entities who want to who want great britain to be separate there are referendums as far as scotland is concerned there are other uh, movements so should india also openly start engaging with them and make it give india a safe haven for these kind of entities how will the british take to it the british government sashrika sashrika namaste jai hind anand namaste now to answer the first question as to why is because pakistan is the brain child of the west Our freedom fighters fought for a united India, not for a divided India. That is number one. And Khalistan is a brainchild of the Pakistan government or the Pakistan ISI, the deep state, the army. So you know the West has been supporting secessionist and separatist elements from all across the world in their in their own countries. They have been actually keeping snakes in their backyards, which are going to come back and bite them someday. And to the second question that you ask, Anand. is should the indian government also encourage the ira the scottish and the other separatist movements which are uh, you know raising their demands from time and again in the west no we should not why should we waste our energy trying to divide them let's focus and concentrate our own on our own progress we are yet to achieve the developed nation status we have better things to do we have better things to fry better fish to fry now why and how this is going to haunt them is anand mm. the day these people overtake their countries they will have lawlessness on the streets that you've witnessed in paris you've witnessed in washington you've witnessed in various parts of the uk europe and north america canadians will pay through their nose they will bleed through their nose and just because the politics of these countries the establishments and the agencies of these countries are supporting separatist elements who are trying to create disturbance in india they will eventually create a lot of disturbance in their own countries by the time they realize and try to bring them to a check it will be too late khalistanis and pakistani nexus in canada have been involved in major drug trades hmm. these people are the leaders of drug trade in uk in europe in north america you know the drug money the narco terror angle it's not going to take too long but but here is the thing start haunting the west here is the and thing that is, that is when they will realize and that is when they will they, no, that they is will when suffer. they will they will suffer but they are also what they are doing is they are also putting roadblocks <clears> on india's story they are also putting roadblocks on uh, on india's growth story the reason why i am asking you this question but is what should we, be our we response need to, we need to put because diplomatic say, pressure because we've we got more things to trade pressure india is a growing trade power exactly. anand anand The, the 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 uk is trying very hard to sign a fta with us free trade agreement with us we should put it on the back burner we should forget about it completely we should not trade with them we should not negotiate with them on their terms we we'll negotiate with them on our terms as a state policy what difference would it be between india pakistan and the west if we try to support secessionist elements in the west why why should we make it a state policy we should not make it a state policy our state policy should be progress of our own country betterment of our own people that should that is what our progress i, our, our 